nothing more than words can say. Oh, hello there. How you guys all doing? It's your boy, Ancient Shano, one and the only. Guys, new year, new you, same me. Here we are again. Today, we are going to check out German supermarkets. A guide to German supermarkets, everything you need to know. All right, so let's let's check this on out. Let's check this on out. Let's see how different are the Germans from the British. All right, let us go. Grocery shopping in Germany is not that different from other places, since you still need to pay for them. However, <laughs> it's not different from other places. Since you need to pay for them, that is our number one. <laughs> the one similarity. If you are new to this country, there are many new things to discover and understand. Okay. Firstly, let's start with the classic supermarkets. Edeka. Edeka is the largest Edeka. German supermarket chain with approximately 4,000 and 100 stores. It has a great variety wow. of produce. That's a lot. Starting from the most appealing fresh fruit and vegetables, an exciting selection. This looks so much like Tesco's in the UK. So much like Tesco. Selection of teas to aisles of hair products, a bigger than usual selection of baby wines, and the funniest and derpiest recreations of cereal boxes I have ever seen. Mm. Larger stores often have a cheese or a Fleisch meat counter. Fust. And perhaps a bakery Schwein. on the side. Then Rave. Rave. The second largest super I was gonna say Ruby or Ru. Supermarket chain with around 3,300 stores in Germany. That's a Similar lot, to Edeka, you know? It has a wide selection of goods. Even though both Edeka and Rewe are mid-range stores, each supermarket has their house brands which tends to have a lower price than branded items. Mm. Edeka's own brand Haribo. is called Gut und Günstig, meaning good, good and cheap, good and while Rewe has Ja! <coughs> Moving on to ja. hypermarkets. Most popular hypermarkets in Germany are Kaufland and Real. Even though, unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to visit Real in real life yet, Based on Kaufland, I can say that in general, hypermarkets are usually big, walkable and explorable. Mm. They not only offer groceries, but also miscellaneous items, from cooking utensils, from bus feed, to beer advent calendars. A bit of everything. And we also have Metro, that is membership only. And unfortunately... Membership only. It's like the... In the UK, we have one called Costco, just right there. And it's also membership only. Like sometimes I wonder, membership only, why does someone have to be a member? Anyway. Also not in my area. But it is a cash and carry kind of store. Where you can buy a kilo of cheese, a giant can of olives, and a washing machine. Okay. A type of store for restaurant owners or very big families. Your true friend... A restaurant for family owners or very big families. <laughs> you wanna see big families? Do you want to see big families? Yeah. When I was growing up as a kid, yeah, I used to think big families were in Africa. I was like, oh, Africans, yeah, we've got big families. But big families are in Asia. You know where? And during these price spiking times are discount stores. And Germany has more than plenty to choose from. Firstly, the one that started it all, Aldi. We have Aldi Nord and Aldi Süd Aldi that UK actually too. are two separate grocery store chains, legally. Nevertheless, they do sell very, very similar products. Aldi Nord covers the north side of Germany and Aldi Süd the south. Then we have the number one Aldi competitor, Lidl. Mm. If you want to learn more about these two mm. stores... I just think Lidl was a British brand, but we've got Lidl here too. Stores, consider checking out my Aldi and Lidl video. Other than that, we have less popular discounters like Penny, that is a child company of Reva, and Netto, that not only shares a distinctive signage with Edeka, but Edeka also owns the discount chain. And last but not least, Norma. Typically, shopping at these discounters might not fully complete your shopping list, so you will most likely need to give a visit to others. These stores are very similar in their offerings. From limited selection of fruits and vegetables and mediocre peanut butter, mediocre to unique food products, one kilo. Lieblings, my favorite. <laughs> no. And of course, no the treasure aisle. Where 
No way. No way. They even paid attention to details. <laughs> no. And of course, the adventurous treasure isle, where you can find something new every week or two. Hmm. Like, look at these little Christmas sweaters. Who would even think of buying these? Not me. <laughs> Perhaps the stores Come. do not look the most aesthetically pleasing, but that's how they keep their prices low and cheap. Plus, you can take these empty boxes to collect groceries. But make sure it's not too small. Additionally, no I'm not sure about other stores, but Lidl and Aldi always have special promotion themed food. Like gourmet or Slavic or Greek. The items are usually hit or miss, to be honest. <gasps> Where's my favorite? No, they don't have it. Since each discount supermarket it's gone, it's offers gone. its house brand, they are usually cheaper than other branded items. And in some you can find both versions of an item. But since they are fierce competitors, generally, price-wise, they don't have much of a difference. Mm. Germans are known for being environmentally conscious, mm. so they are big on bio products. Therefore, they also have specifically dedicated bio stores. The two most popular organic supermarkets in Germany are Dense Biomarkt and Alnatura. But if your city does not have... I like how they talk. Alnatura. Alnatura. Makes it sound so innocent. Alnatura. Have them. There are other smaller and more local bio supermarkets spread across the country. They offer a grand selection of organic products. Vous from fresh bread and cheese to coffee, wine, frozen pizza, with a tiny pizza and even skincare. But these products come with a price, like more than usual, especially the fruits and vegetables. Nevertheless, the stores do look very aesthetically pleasing, mm -hmm. and they offer you the priceless sensation of knowing you bought something better for the environment. Yeah, I like stores like this, like so very orderly. Everything's just very well organized. I said like Tesco's, we have Tesco's, um, we have Lidl, we also have Aldi, and we've got another one called Sainsbury's. There's quite a few around, some smaller ones too. They've got a very similar layout to this, but the ones here, they, they've become more pricey now. They've become more pricey over the, over the uh, past year. Interestingly enough, here you can find very well thought through designed products alongside very straightforward in Microsoft Paint created looking like products. <laughs> to compare the local prices, this time we're using a, the most millennial metric there is, the Whoa. avocado metric. Okay. Comparing the prices of avocados in different stores, with the cheapest ones being at the discounters and the most expensive in the bio stores. If you are underwhelmed by the amount of international food offered in the generic supermarkets, there are many local supermarkets that might sell the foreign flavors you are looking for. There you will always find for. many unique, maybe even never seen before items. For an average German, these items might seem intriguing and perhaps confusing, but for others they might feel like home. If you need to get some vitamins and a new tube of mascara, some of Germany's biggest drugstores include Rossmann and DM. That's like boots. Besides makeup and simple medicine, they also sell alternative milks, cleaning supplies, protein supplements, hair and skincare products, and you might be even able to print photos from your phone for an affordable price. Mm. Even though these stores are not for grocery shopping, they do have some food products, such as spreads, dried fruit, gluten-free food, canned goods, and even tofu. They're diversifying. And most of the food products are bio. Plus, Germany also has Müller. A chain of retail yeah, stores. Mula. For me, it feels like a leveled up drugstore. Not only is it ginormous, but it also sells high end yogurt. perfumes and skincare, stationary goods, a whole wall of socks, toys, video games, <laughs> and last but socks. certainly not least, a SpongeBob mug. However, if you would like to purchase something like paracetamol, you'll most likely need to go to a apotheca or pharmacy apotheca, and ask yeah. it at the counter. Now, moving on to more general things you might see in any grocery store. Breads and bakeries. Mm -hmm. Germans love their bread. From small buns to big loaves. And oftentimes stores have bakeries in them. Or a bakery chain next to them. Plus, oftentimes you'll find a bread cutting machine right next to the breads. Now, watching this video, I think um, this supermarket or the supermarket 
they are like um they like follow a similar pattern like in the whole of Europe like even in London like looking at this the only difference I would say between uh, the UK and Germany would be like the names of the shops who owns them and then the products that are being offered in these two different countries but so far the arrangement the layout is basically very similar yeah if not the same Compared to the Netherlands, Germany is not that keen on pre-made food. Most of the options are more to desire for. Unless the store has a salad bar, the salads are quite disappointing. Tell me about it. Looks like something I should not say. Tell me about it. All I'm saying should be better. Tell me about it. Except the poke bowl was surprisingly tasty. Around the same area, you will also find mm. pre-made coffee, I love which is sold in these yogurt looking like containers. They are strikingly popular, especially in Frankfurt. Pre -made they coffees. are way too sweet for my taste, but maybe you're into that. Pre -made However, coffees. in some supermarkets, you can find the most amazing sushi for the best reasonable prices. With a big variety and even vegetarian ones. In case you want to make baked goods by yourself, you might have trouble finding baking soda in the stores. Ba I got baking soda. I got baking soda. <laughs> yeah, anytime I hear baking soda, I just remember that song. <laughs> baking powder is easily translated to bakpulva, okay. but oftentimes baking soda is referred to as natron, which is pretty confusing. When you don't have enough money or time to shop at specific bio stores, most supermarkets and drugstores offer some kind of products in bio form. Mm. At many stores like Rave, so they try to make it uh, uh, to your convenience. So it makes your shopping convenient rather than uh, having to travel a distance. You can just look around to see if they have a product that you might want to get from a different place. Yeah, sounds very convenient and very well thought out. Or DM, you might be asked if you have a payback card. The card you can get easily somewhere at the store for free. And with it, you can collect points and then reclaim money or other rewards. Germany has the most limited shopping hours in Europe. Generally, the stores have their business hours from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays. On Saturday, they are more limited hours, and on Sundays, most of the stores are completely closed, unless it is an open Sunday, where most supermarkets, clothing stores, and shoe stores are open. They occur once a month, but not every month. But if you happen to not have any food to survive on a closed Sunday, some kiosks and gas station will provide enough substance. Mm. Or you can just do takeout. It's worth keeping in mind that German checkouts tend to be quite hurried. And it is especially true in discount supermarkets. You are required to attain grocery packing skills quickly. Otherwise, you will slow down the line, making everyone annoyed. <laughs> Typically, yeah, in fast. German grocery stores, you will find a lot of German food. It's comfort eating with high quality. Now, nah, in the UK, it's not fast. I mean, of London, yeah, it is not fast, all right? They can scan it quickly for you, but a lot of times I see people delaying the queues, taking their time to put all the products in, taking the time to put all their goods in, just taking too much time. Sometimes I'm like, oh man, you're taking a piss. All right, I'm not saying I'm not saying do it too fast. Yeah, I'm not saying be fast like a, like a, like a flash. But some people just take their time so slowly. I'm like, do you need my help? Do you need some assistance? It's crazy. Like <clears throat> in London, I know it's not that fast. Often locally sourced ingredients. So we have the usual sausages, deli meats, potatoes, potato balls frozen pretzels, frozen cakes, pre-made currywurst, and much more. However, in this section, I wanted to present to you a couple of things I would recommend you try from a German supermarket okay. for a visitor or someone new to this country. Haribo. First and foremost, when it comes to chocolate, you can't go wrong with Schrogetten or Ritter Sport, mm. with many interesting tastes to choose from. Nutella. Even though Ooh. these products are made by an Italian company, Nutella branded sweets are very popular here. Nutella cookies, here Nutella too. sticks, Nutella wafers. If you love Nutella, you came to the right place. Nutella is good. Maltaschen. They are basically giant square dumplings that originated in Bavaria. 
They have a wide selection of fillings and you can eat them boiled or pan fried mm. with vegetables. I love pretzels, but what I love even more is pretzel bread. It is so crunchy and salty and it is great in a sandwich. True fruit smoothies slash juices. They not only taste great, but they also have different texts and stories on different flavors and in the end you get a cute bottle. You can't skip on Haribo, mm -mm. since they have a wide variety of flavors you can try. So you might find the one that you like, because the classic golden Just bears so are many. basic. Or feel free to try other gummy bear treats, not created by Haribo. The best frozen pizza you will ever have is the Gustavo Gusto pizza. I'm not a fan of frozen pizza. Frozen pizza, mm, I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not the best. Sometimes it's really terrible, yeah. So, frozen pizza, mm -mm, not me. When you prepare it correctly, you will feel like you're eating a pizza from a restaurant or a pizza place. It might be pricier than other frozen pizzas. Did I say hallelujah on that? <laughs> hallelujah. Fear, fear, cancer. So, four cheese, four ein hallelujah, for one hallelujah. So, four cheese in one hallelujah. Restaurant or a pizza place. It might be pricier than other frozen pizzas, but it is really worth it. Last I mean, it looks good, least, actually. If you like a little bit of pop in your life, Fritz Cola and Spezi oh, might quench your thirst. Fritz Cola. I had it. Fritz Cola. Okay, not gonna lie. This video is quite interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Entertaining. She's... Her sense of humor is a bit different, all right? It is in her nuances. It's in the way she presents the video as well. And a few little things she says it just makes it pleasant to watch, all right? But so far, I've seen so many similarities between German supermarkets and British supermarkets because as far as I'm concerned, the layout is very, very similar, if not the same, really, really similar, all right? And I'm thinking it's just the European standard, yeah? Because in Europe, yeah, we do it better here. Of course. Come on. Let the Americans know that. Come on. All right. It's been your boy, guys. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Love. Peace. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way. You are me. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way.